Uh, you guys go back to the village. No um, sanity checks or anything? He's <laughs> all just kind of like, you just saw the wolf. Oh, fuck, I forgot, you saw the wolf. Damn it. I totally forgot about that. I was too intent on what was happening in the front yeah. of the story. Yeah, make me a sanity check. Uh, I do not make it. Okay. Um, fuck me, eight points of sanity. I have 60 sanity. So, is that temporarily insane? Um, since we're retroing it in, no. We're going to say you didn't go temporarily insane. Okay. Well, I'm not is that a though? Uh, yeah, 60 is going to be 12 or more okay. at once. Or 12 more in a short period of time. If you get, if you take one, if you take 20% of your sanity within, like, one. rest periods or within, in a dangerous time, then you can get a phobia or uh, night terror, yeah, that yeah, kind of something. shit. But, um, no, I'm not, I'm not, it, it's 12 for your 60, okay. from what it was, and I'm not going to worry about retroing in, Me going you going insane. temporarily insane, so we're not going to, I'm not going to mess with that, because that, I, I'm sorry, I totally forgot about it. you seeing the wolf, and, god damn it, <laughs> you know, you make a sanity check too, you got to see the wolf again. No. You make it at zero. Did you make it? Not even, wait, yeah, not even close. You lost one. Oh. Ooh. I've already seen it before, so... Yeah, that, it, it, you were still shaken up by it, especially when it came out and tried to scratch you. <laughs> but otherwise, you're just like, what is? He was, like, freaking out. How about this? We're going to give you, like... Once you guys made your camp, you're like, I'm mad at you. just, like, for, like, 20 minutes, he was just, like, talking about, like... And we tied the Frenchman to the tree. Terrified, <laughs> terrified gibbering is what he was giving you. It was awful. It was awful. It was awful. It was awful. I tied the Frenchman to the tree. <laughs> Why would God make such a thing? You know, crap like that. Um, so you go back to town the next yeah, morning. And we're talking. Confront- and not confronting, but we're talking to. We're going to go talk to Father Thomas. We have to, okay. We what, do you wanna, to what do you want to say to him? We're going to tell him that. Apparently, he tells you Alfred was attacked last night. We need night. to gather everybody. Because if we just tell the priest and he's an enemy. What, you consider the priest an enemy? Well, he might be. He taught the dude Latin. They are clearly friends. Yes, but I doubt the priest knows what he was doing. We need like three or four witnesses. That way see if he tries this voodoo crap. They're witnesses. I mean, ha! <laughs> Fine, we... What are we going to do? That's like your voodoo crap coming. If you want to do that. It's, it's just kind of like gather everybody as we come into town. Just as we see them, just like, come on, we got to tell you important news. Okay, yeah. We, we can get half a dozen business villagers. Okay, so before we do that, though... Um, I just did it. <laughs> sorry, well, I tried to whisper to you while we're kind of walking ahead of these people. Yeah, you can do that. Um, I'm, I'm assuming the book will say we found it on Alfred's body. And that we know it's a Wait, you no, found it on his terrible body? Idea. No, 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 no. Well, how are you going to explain this book? No, we saw him drop it and we couldn't read it. You're still lying, keep that in mind. Oh yeah, you can see through the eyes. He was pretty good at reading people. Are you sure you wanted to confront him from the I'll give you a little hand. You can't just be vague. We found this book in Alfred's house. Read it. You can just go that route. Yeah. And then you're not lying. You're not telling him everything. We're just out and saying we stole it from him. You can tell him that we took this book because we suspected Alfred. And guess what? We were fucking right. <laughs> He's a witch. Mm-hmm. So you just go with the full truth. You yeah. go with the full truth, man. Uh, just don't tell me we burned eyes, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when we gather everyone, um, mm-hmm. we go to the church basically. Yeah, we gather everyone in the church and um, tell them um, that we just happened when we were searching up for towns, we found this book. Mm-hmm. We got it translated by a priest up in uh, Shawsbury. Uh, You're giving too much information again, John. You're not keeping it simple. I'm telling you this as, as a friend. I know. <laughs> I just, we got a chance, well, I just figured if they wouldn't know where I found the priest. You might You're just, just given, the fine. bigger you are, the better. I'm, I'm telling you this, as, I'm telling you this to try to help you. I just, we so found this book. It tells everything that Alfred was going to do. He's a monster. Read yeah. this. Yeah. You can just do it's that. Witchcraft. Yeah, there you go. The more detail you give a lot of times, the give worse it People will be like, wait, when did you steal the book? I give it to Thomas for him to read. All uh, right, Thomas looks doubtful. Yeah. But he reads it. He's the only one in town who can read Latin. Yeah. And the further he reads, the more horrified he looks. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, okay. 
Uh, he, uh, yeah, he's terrified by this whole situation. I tell him not to he go obviously forward with you. the ritual tonight. Oh, no, yeah, he tells you that. Um, Apple Guy is a little upset about that, but at the same time, she has read Doom for the Village in her auguries. Mm-hmm. So she is willing to not do the ritual. Um, yeah. They're, they're, they're willing not to do it. Obviously, this is something is wrong. Um, Thomas had his doubts until he read Alfred's journal. Um, that convinces him. His student was behind all the troubles in the village. Um, and, yeah, he believes you guys. Okay. And he wants to burn this fucking book. I told um, him to but go. that's up to you. I, I'll let him burn the book okay. if he wants. Because there are spells, descriptions of how to cast spells in this book. Witchcraft, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. Can't read it. You're not going to find somebody willing to read it. So he will burn it very publicly for the whole village, destroy it so that everybody knows it's gone. But we're not going to hand it over. Um, we're going to burn it with him present. We're not going to give him a chance to study it, copy it, anything. That's fine. Yeah, you can kind of shadow him until he gets the bonfire set up that he's going to burn it in. You don't let the book out of your sight. That's fine. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't go out of your sight. And then he throws it into the bonfire to burn it. He doesn't want anything to do with this blasphemy. Um, there's a different rite. They have just they have a, and he's gonna perform a mass that night instead of the uh, the the Samhain or the uh, All Hallows Eve celebration. He will perform a mass as opposed to that. Um, it goes without a hitch. Uh, the people then go like kill the animals that they're planning on killing. There's still a big feast. Um, you guys get get to eat plenty of meat. All the villagers get a bunch of meat. These are the animals that are older or that aren't gonna make it through the winter. That kind of thing that they killed so they can eat them. Um, and it's quite festive. Um, uh, yeah, and that pretty much ends the adventure. You Unless guys can head back to the Earl. The huh? Unless we want to try to kill the worm. You can try to find and kill the worm. You know, there's, there's only two for the village. Yeah. You do um, not take that with two people. Yeah. Even if you have a you know, werewolf on your side. Yeah, no. Who tried to slash you as it just casually walked by. What the hell was up with that? Um, okay. And we betray him, and I tell the Earl, what? Like, not what exactly happened, but what will please him, I guess, that his, that his Wolfgang, headsman was a... Wolfgang, potential worm threat. Uh, okay. Which expunged. And uh, that the Earl and the headsman threat. was a witch. And that, yes. he, okay. that he was executed. All right. So, you guys get four, 1d4 sanity for exposing Alfred. Um, and another d8 for stopping the witch. <laughs> so, yeah. so D4 is the little triangle, the little okay. pyramid guy. And that's uh, 4, because you read the one that's face up. What's face up on this? The one that you can read straight up. Yeah. Oh, it's on the base. Yeah, so yeah. I can see uh, the same numbers on the top. That yeah, his is on the bottom. Oh. So that's 4. Yeah, see the one you can read. Yeah, it's straight up 4. Uh, and then a D8, which is this guy. Add that to a four. Out short. Eight. So another eight. So you get eight points of sanity back. I'm more sane now than I was earlier. <laughs> that can happen if you're successful. If you fail at things, then it's not good. Uh, you don't get points for defeating the dragon. You didn't fight it. You don't get points for defeating the wolf, the black wolf, because you didn't really defeat it. Uh, you dealt with it, but you didn't defeat it. Um, so I'm going to withhold the points for that, because I think that would be a little too much. Um, it, uh, those skills that you checked off, yeah. You can level up by what you want to do is you want to make a skill check on that, but you want to fail it. Okay, Nick? You want to roll higher than the skill. I didn't actually have any. These are the ones I checked that belong to this. Oh, they're, they're which right ones, ones did you use successfully? Use uh, your crossbow. I remember that because you hit with the crossbows twice. Yeah, but they were all super close. None of them That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, it was a success. Um, did you get you got did you get any tracking checks? Were you successful? Yeah. You were okay. successful. At least one tracking yeah. check. Yeah, so that would be that. Um, spot hidden. Uh, you made the spot hidden when you saw Alfred running with the arrow stuck in his side, so you got that. Yep. So what you want to do is you want to roll higher than these. Because the, the better you are at something, the harder it is to improve. So which one are you rolling against? Uh, I'll do crossbow. Okay, what's that, 75? Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you roll 76 or above, there you go, let me know. What'd you yeah, get? 13. Okay, so that one doesn't go up. Uh, try your... It's already maxed out. No, no, no. See, you can go above. That's how much you can start it. Ah. And then once you get to 100, it can go above 100. It can go beyond 100 if you roll 96 to 00 to improve. 
So it's not good chances, but the potential is there. Yeah. It's that track. And then you, yeah, is that a track? No, that was an 83. 83 over 75, so that's a fail. So roll one of those two dice. Wait, my track's a 75. Isn't it? What is yeah, that? it's a 50. Oh, well, that's still a fail, right? You roll 83. Yeah. How am I supposed to roll higher than that? Because the high, the better some, you are at something, the harder it is to get better. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I that's okay. Yeah. Wait, then I rolled... Did you roll higher than 75 for your crossbow? No, I rolled lower than 75. So you, that one doesn't improve. Okay. Okay, so, so normally in the game, you want to roll low. Okay. When you're trying to improve your skills, you want to roll high. Because okay. as That's you get better at the skill, it's harder to improve that. Right. So you rolled higher than your track. So that means you roll one of those dice and add that to your track. Okay. So you're going to add 1d10. So is that a 5? Five? Five. So add 5 points to your track. Same with your spot hidden. Um, do your spot hidden. Roll and see if you... What did you get? 31. 31. 31. Out of... 50. Okay, so that was a success, so it doesn't go up any. Were there any other skills that... That were that you think you used successfully? Uh, no. Listen? Did you listen? I failed my listen. Okay. <laughs> and that's pretty much how you level your character up. The more the, the things that you do allow you to, to level. Yeah, and them. that's why you should try and do as much as you can. No, no, no. You shouldn't. <laughs> I got people like, well, I have a one percent chance. Let me make a check. If you have zero chance, then sometimes you can try. And you're like, maybe I understand enough Latin to get the gist. But other times, people are just doing it to try to get a. To help, to help they succeed so they can actually get the, to improve it. Just fifteen. But oh, do we use these characters? Come here. <laughs> huh? Now, normally, if this was a campaign, like a series of connected games, then they, then these characters would show up in a month or two months or six months or a year. Yeah. This is just a one cover. shot because in the summer I take different time periods. Our normal game takes place in 1875, and last semester I ran a fuck ton of games for that. In each game session, they would use the same characters, and then it was yeah. like different chapters in a story, <laughs> or in a book, or different episodes of a TV series. Yeah. Um, and so, this is so a one shot. Like this is like a TV movie. So, like in Destiny, it's like every every mission, it's a different yeah. story. Yeah. Upgrades your overall character. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Um, I'm a gamer. <laughs> you can keep your character sheet if you want. You can leave it here with me. If, uh, you think in a year, next summer, you might want to try to play. This guy again, it's up to you. I think I'd rather just make it different every time, or until it's a campaign. If I ever do a um, I'm going to run next month again, uh, but that one is going to be Feudal Japan. Um, I, I, I have three gens for that one. I don't have any kind of like rules to make a character. So you come in, you get the character, one of the characters that you're handed. Uh, yeah. You look at his like background and history and that kind of stuff, and then you just like, play. This is a good exercise. I'm going to try to yes. my girlfriend next time. She's okay. going to work this time around. Okay. Um, it's it's limited to six. I'm going to let my regulars have a chance to, to do it. But if we have two slots open, okay. then we'll let you know. Okay. Um, and there's one sci-fi one at the end of the oh. The end of this horror is Horror Planet. Uh, I could take more than six in that game because I've got six pre-gens. Uh, but it'll be Cthulhu now. It'll be like present day, 2018. That, it, that, that, that you, you better bet that I won't even say that. Okay, and that one, if, if I have more people than six show up, then people can make characters, because I've got the rules for making modern day characters. Uh, I just don't have any, any rules for making Ronan. So trash cans are right behind you in that fancy looking box. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. That's awesome.